soothing, isn't it? That's something you will hear at the Chamber Music on the Fox, which kicks off its 10th season tomorrow. This performance, including uh, many different artists and introduces audience to known local, national and international artists in a very intimate setting. Joining us today, the founder of Chamber Music on the Fox, Mark Fry. Good morning to you. Hi, thanks for coming all the yeah, way into the thank city. You. So you start, this is the 10th season. Did you think that you'd be where you are today um, with this? No, I didn't know we would have so much success yeah. so, so quickly. And I, sh I should emphasize that I'm the co-founder. The co-founder, okay. Um, actually, you saw uh, our other co-founder playing cello in that, okay. that clip. Um, <clears throat> You're Sarah, a band Sarah guy. Sitzer. You yes, I'm a, I'm a, yes, I'm a band guy. But yeah. I mean, now I'm an orchestra guy. But yeah, I started a high school band. Yeah. But. Talk talk about uh, what, where this came from. What was the genesis of having the chamber music and having kind of a much more intimate setting than going to like the CSO, where you're in an audience of a thousand people? Well, um, for one thing, I think any orchestral musician, yeah. including the CSO musicians, who, many of who I know yeah. and are dear friends of mine, love playing chamber music. Yeah. It's a different experience. Sure. Um, yes, when you're, you're in an a orchestra of 80, 90 people, it is very collaborative, mm -hmm. um, and it's even collaborative with your conductor who's you know, leading and everything, but it's a whole different experience when you see the string qu quintet yep. that Sarah was playing in um, by one of my favorite composers, Anton Bruckner. There's very, here's a cool thing about chamber music. Um, most people uh, who might have heard of Bruckner's music, they've heard his symphonies, right. which are very famous, but even... Uh, you know, they may not, not want, might not want to admit this, but every one of those musicians are amazing that yeah. you saw in that clip. Sure. They had never played his string quintet before, is which right? I think is one of his best pieces. You know, it's kind of like hearing a rock musician. You're hearing something that's familiar but not familiar because you're hearing that uh, like a rock musician in an unplugged acoustical setting almost. It's, yes. It's that type of right. feeling, right? Right. And um, you, you talked about the, I think, maybe intimate, up close and personal. Sure. yeah. Most of the venues that we have our performances in, uh, max capacity is like about 125 people. Yeah. So um, if you go to Orchestra Hall, I think it's like 2,400 people sure. or something like yep. that. Um, even if you sit in the front row, you're still kind of far away. But a lot of our patrons, they, they love that they, they can not only see the musicians up close and personable, but a lot of times the musicians will talk to the audience in between the yeah. pieces. and. Um, and get to talk to the musicians sure. afterwards. It's just, it's just a much, it's much more, I don't want to say real experience, but you get to see a sweat. You get to see that we're like real people. We're, <laughs> we're, not, we're, we're somewhat normal people. When you have most 80 musicians up right. on stage, it's a much different right. feeling. Who are we going to be seeing this season? Well, uh, 10th anniversary season, I wanted to have a big season. So um, we're starting off tomorrow afternoon at uh, the Bally Doyle with the Avalon String Quartet, which is one of the, the best string quartets, well, out there. Internationally yeah. renowned. Uh, and I'm so excited that they said yes to start opening our season yeah. for us. So um, you're going to get two chances. So our roar audiences can see them at the Ballet Doyle. You, you can, you, here's what's cool about chamber music on the Fox. Mm -hmm. You can get to see the Avalon String Quartet in an Irish pub in downtown Aurora. <laughs> and it's a beautiful space. I, I'm so excited. New venue for us. Our Elgin audiences are going to get to see them Monday night at the Ashbury, which is a beautiful, uh, normally it's, it's an event venue, um, but it's, it's a wonderful, again, opportunity to get to see them up close and personal. Um, then I'll go to the end of the season because it's, again, October celebrating. Yeah. The end of the season, I'm going to be playing with a lot of my colleagues. Okay. Uh, Third Coast Brass. All right. Um, some of the best brass musicians in Chicago, and it's going to be... So normally we wouldn't use a conductor, but 18 brass percussion players need somebody to keep us in check. So uh, one of my dear friends, Mark Fisher, who uh, plays in the Lyric Opera Orchestra with mm -hmm. me, is going to be conducting us. And um, we're going to be doing Mussorgsky's Pictures at an Exhibition, which most, most people know. Mm -hmm. I hate to use the word classical uh, music because I think it's a little limiting, but uh, most classical music audiences know sure. Pictures at an Exhibition. They know the orchestral version. We actually did the... The, the original piano version years ago. Yeah. Again, this is something Chambers and the Fox sure. can do. We can have the piano version, solo piano version yeah. of pictures, and then we can have an all brass version that no one's ever heard before. Well, no, 
Our audiences haven't heard before. It's been All around right. for a while. But. Well, you know what? Tenth season, congratulations yes. on making it this far. And obviously there is a, there, there is, there's a hunger for it. Not only yes. in the city, but in the Fox Valley Yes, as we're well. filling a need. People, right. people, people love us. All right, thank you so much. Here's the information about tomorrow's concert. Starts at 2.30. You can find the information about tickets and the rest of the season at Chamber of Music on the Fox.org. Thank you again very much. Do appreciate it. Great. Thank you very much. Top stories are next. Yep. Thank you, Mark. You're watching Chicago's very own WGN News with Sean Lewis, Gaynor Hall, and Tim Joyce with weather. This is WGN Weekend Morning News. Welcome back. Top stories coming up in just a moment. First, Tim's here with the latest on the weather. Yeah, tracking down some sunshine out towards the Harvard area so far this morning. Seeing some hazy sunshine there. Great way to start off the new season of fall. Temperature 66 at O'Hare with a little more cloud cover over the city right now. And we are tracking some isolated showers and thunderstorms to our north and a little bit to our west. Some of that action comes into play for tomorrow, but for today, looking quite beautiful. Temperatures inland getting near 80 degrees. A little cooler by the lake there in the low end of the 70s. Tomorrow, a tiny chance for an isolated shower or possible sprinkle in the forecast. We'll time out those details when we, when we get back towards 80 degrees again in the extended forecast in just a few minutes. Tropical storm Ophelia making landfall on the coast of North Carolina this morning. That storm came ashore with 70 mile per hour winds, which is just shy of hurricane strength and dangerous water surge.